After the study of channel non-linearity in frequency modulation system, we are going to study threshold effect in FM. Now what is threshold effect in FM? The threshold effect in FM is if the signal level in FM demodulator is better than the noise level. Okay. Again repeating. In FM demodulator, if the level of signal is comparably better than the noise level, then the received carrier to noise ratio and Demodulated signal to noise ratio can be related as this equation. Okay. So, this equation can be related as signal to noise ratio is equal to 3 beta square carrier to noise ratio. So, what is the relationship? The signal to noise ratio is the product of 3 beta square multiplied with carrier to noise ratio. Okay. So, S divided by N is signal to noise ratio at the output of FM demodulator. Beta is either FM deviation ratio or it is modulation index. We take modulation index MF for baseband signal and if we are having so many modulating signals together at that time the beta is fm deviation ratio c by n is carrier to noise ratio at the input of fm demodulator at the input of fm demodulator we are receiving carrier to noise ratio okay at the input of fm demodulator we are receiving carrier to noise ratio while at the output of FM demodulator we are providing or the demodulator is providing signal to noise ratio. Actually what is output of FM demodulator is can be considered a receiver output. Receiver output what we listen or hear at the end of the receiver. Okay. So the signal to noise ratio is at the output of FM demodulator and at the input of demodulator, the demodulator is receiving carrier to noise ratio. So, you can say for demodulator carrier to noise ratio, this one is input, this is input and this input is multiplied with 3 beta square where for baseband signal means if the modulating signal is of single frequency, at that time this beta is of modulation index mf and if there are many modulating frequencies means modulating signal is comprised of many modulating frequencies at that time this beta is deviation ratio fm deviation ratio d okay so the signal to noise ratio at the fm demodulator at the FM demodulator, the signal to noise ratio is equal to 3 beta square C by N. So, what this equation says? The expression does not apply when carrier to noise ratio decreases below a certain point. For a certain value of carrier to noise ratio, this expression, however, does not implement it. But, Below that critical point, below that certain point, the signal to noise ratio decreases significantly. It means that if carrier to noise ratio is having certain value, up to that value, the receiver output is okay, modulator output is okay, we, we will be able to get a, a clear voice. But below a certain carrier to noise ratio, below a critical point, then the signal to noise ratio decreases significantly. 
okay and this is known as fm threshold effect actually what is the mean or uh, meaning of threshold the meaning of threshold is the meaning of threshold is that either before or after the threshold point there will be drastic change in the nature of output okay so what is fm threshold fm threshold is usually defined as the here i am highlighting fm threshold is usually defined as the carrier to noise ratio at which the signal to noise ratio fall below the linear relationship given in the above equation in the, this equation there is a linear relationship that is 3 beta square multiplied by c by n but below a critical point below this any certain critical point this signal to noise ratio will fall 1 db below the linear relationship and it generally is considered to occur about 10 db if the signal to noise ratio is uh, i'm sorry if the carrier to noise ratio is at 10 db then if it is decreasing below then the signal to noise ratio will fall 1 db below and that can be shown in a graph also i am showing you below that fm threshold point the noise signal whose amplitude and phase are randomly varying so below that threshold point the amplitude and phase angle the threshold at point the noise signal may have an amplitude greater than the wanted signal it means that below the threshold point the noise signal will be greater than the signal amplitude and when this happens the noise will produce a sudden change in the phase of fm demodulator and as we have seen that if there is phase non linearity then the fm demodulator output will affected harshly okay so what is threshold point it is shown in this figure in this graph in detail you can watch it clearly you can watch it clearly here in this graph now in the x axis the input is taken that is signal to noise ratio in db and in the y axis the output of demodulator is taken that is signal to noise ratio in db decibel okay so what we are watching that below this signal to uh, carrier to noise ratio this this point is threshold point because below this point there is a linear change as the carrier to noise ratio was rising the signal to noise ratio was also rising correspondingly so up to this value there is a linear change but at the carrier to noise ratio that is approximately at 10 db if it reaches this point of signal to noise ratio so what we are watching that that graph has distorted and and the linear graph is drastically changing its slope and after that what you are watching that at a certain value the distortion limited region means we are not able to get the signal value only the suppressed value due to noise will be there okay so this point is known as threshold value before this point of uh, cnr threshold matlab carrier to uh, it means carrier to noise ratio the graph was linear means signal corresponding to noise was in a better condition but if the carrier to noise ratio rises again beyond this value then signal amplitude will degrade itself against noise and after a certain value we will not able to get signal properly okay so this graph is very much important this graph you have to study in a well manner 
you have to learn uh, this graph which shows the FMD modulator and threshold effect. Now, after giving lecture at channel nonlinearity and threshold effect in FMD modulator, the student must be able to answer these two questions. Question number one is what is channel nonlinearity? And explain the effects of channel nonlinearity in AM and FM signals. So, this first question is related with channel nonlinearity, and the second check question is explain threshold effect in FM. Actually, the threshold effect occurs in FM demodulator, and due to the threshold effect, the signal to noise ratio decreases. And after a certain value, it reaches to 0 uh, dB rise and that at that point, the signal value will not be able to differentiate itself from the noise and signal will not clear at the output of the demodulator. So, the student who are um, listening the videos they should be able to answer these two questions. If there is any doubt, you may ask me through the link. And in this way, it is the end of channel nonlinearity and threshold effect in FM. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay connected.